Hi, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. Uh, we're both, uh, in case you don't know, we're David Smith Radon Supply Company, David Smith Radon Remedies. We hold Illinois' uh, second oldest license, license to do radon. Uh, today we're going to do a little demonstration on roof flanges. We commonly call them roof boots. Uh, Dan, my foreman, is going to demonstrate how we do a roof flange. Uh, in our company, I'm sure we've done over 6,000 of these. Uh, without a problem and and uh, quite truthfully the manufacturers of these uh, products sure make it easy to do but you still you still need to know how to do it right number one and number two uh, there may be just a couple hints about some minor things that we do that you might pick up on but either way uh, we'd like to do a little demonstration on how we do roofs and radon installations and as I said we've done thousands of these so I hope there's some benefit to you I also wanted to take a minute and mention the Cozy Collar. I think if you are a radon mitigation company, you should keep one of these on your trailer all the time. Uh, we carry them as in our uh, supply business, in our uh, manufacturing business or supply business, but it is just a valuable thing to have. Uh, number one, when the weather is too icy to get on a roof, but number two, if a roof is just so uh, steep, it makes you feel unsafe. This is an alternative, and you can look this company up online. Uh, they have all kinds of uh, information uh, that shows you how to install this product. So let's get with Dan up here and have him uh, show us and describe to us how we do uh, uh, roof in radon situations. Hello, I'm Dan with David Smith Radon Remedies, and I'm going to demonstrate how to cut in a roofing boot um, for roof penetration. We're going to start off by getting the roofing boot over to place the hole uh, and marking off the sides of that roofing boot. Once I've got the top and the center marked, I'll remove the pipe and the boot itself and transfer my measurements over. Uh, once I have my shingles cut and ready to go, I'm going to use my flat bar, uh, loosen up the shingles and see if there's any nails in the path of the boot sliding beneath them smoothly. All right, and once that's taken care of, I'm going to prep my roofing boot. Um, I'm going to get caulked and sealed um, and get ready to slide beneath the shingles. Over the course of the wintertime, when it's a lot colder out, we're going to use a heat gun to actually warm the shingles up. And it's going to provide a lot easier um, cut into the shingles and uh, a lot less chance of damage to the shingles themselves.
I'm gonna use the black roofing sealant. I'm gonna caulk the bottom side of this roofing boot. the top side too so the shingles have something to adhere to. If you've noticed on the bottom side of this roofing boot I've left the bottom uncocked so if any condensation were to collect it has a chance to actually drain out as opposed to uh, being trapped. So once that is caulked and ready to go we're going to use uh, PVC cement and glue the pipe into the coupling we have right below the subroof. Now that the pipe is secure inside the coupling, I'm going to use a critter guard, which is going to prevent any kind of debris or critters from wanting to get inside that pipe. And now we're ready to nail it off. Now once everything is nailed off, we're going to use the roof concealant to reseal the shingles back down to the roof. Fill the nail holes that we used. And as one extra added layer of protection, we're going to use the bead of this roofing sealant to actually caulk around the rubber piece that meets the pipe. Um, over time, the sun. Um, does a lot of wear and tear against that rubber flange. Uh, this is just an extra layer of protection. It's going to help with any kind of leaking down the road.
Now, last thing we want to do before we get off this roof is make sure this pipe is marked right on. Um, so any roofers, anybody doing work on this roof knows not to disturb the pipe um, or for the safety matter of it all, standing right over top of it. That'll be it.